by the fish. Now, it might be difficult for you here, but there's a kind of oven that you use in drying. That's what the abokis like to do a lot. You know, they used to do it in, in the north, in uh, Lake Shad. But it's sad news. There's a time Boko Haram actually killed a lot of fishermen. If I still happen yesterday, 31, you had it in the news. So sad. But that's where we all get our catfish from. Now 11 trucks, almost about 140 leaves Lake Shad every day to go down South Nigeria to give us fish. All those fish you see all over the place. But for the past two, three years, man, because of Boko Haram, it's not been coming. That's why even though more people are producing fish, yet yeah, fish is still expensive. So you see some malams going about now, want to buy your fish once they are just three months old. They call them melodge. So that they will smoke, they will dry it. The ones who buy went uh, for smoking, they will, that's, you can sell the fish when it's just three months. When it's four months, you can sell it to those who dry. About a kilo. Now, when it's five months, you cannot sell it to people who want to eat a pepper soup, you know, the live one. So there's something there for everybody. Either sell fresh, either sell smoke, either sell dry. And then, of course, you cannot go ahead and even produce on your own. That's the greatest power. And that's what we're going to focus on today. We call it catfish fingerlings production. Can you call that word? production. Now, I'm going to do something. Now, because there is a, the people in today, I thought they have something like a, a board that I will coordinate with them to show fisheries diversity. Hello, are we there? They will show, okay, once I show you, let me see. The fisheries chart. You can let me show, can show it so that I'll, before I go into this one, okay. Now we've seen a few. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is to simplify this complex information and give you in an easy way to understand. Now I attended University of Lagos. Up to master's degree, we were not taught how to inject a fish. Why? Most of our, lead, our professors then they studied overseas, America, UK. If you go and study in UK, they won't teach you African catfish. They only teach you their own catfish. They call it Silaros glanis. It's a different fish from our catfish. Those in America, they know about salmon and the American Chanel catfish. It's different from our catfish. So you see the problem when the kids go to school in Nigeria. Well, we go to still school. But now it's changed now because they are now teaching the African catfish. But in our time, nobody teaches you. It was more of the foreign American catfish. And the American catfish takes one and a half years to grow to one kg. Our own African catfish takes five months. Now the fingerlings of the American catfish would take six months to grow to finger size. Our own for our backyard here takes six weeks. So why are we not absolutely successful? Because we don't have the knowledge. And that's what's going to happen right here today. So I'm going to go back there now and focus on that particular one first. Why I'm going to focus on it is because of the time I did something in the night around 2.30 a.m. I injected the female fish. It's a little bit pregnant. You know, the tummy is big. I injected it. Either with, I can use two things to inject it. Either use the brain of another fish or to use something they call overprim. Let me show you. Okay. Where's my syringe? I need syringe, yeah. Kenny, where's my syringe? Where's the syringe? Okay, good. Good, thank you. Now, this is what you call... This is a key material. Okay, this is a key material. Okay, let me now go to back so that the folks at the back will see. Now, this is, this is called uh, overprim. Can you call that word? Overprim. Now, what is this really? You can use overprim and you might not use it too. 
Now, what exactly did I do around 2 a.m.? Now, to produce babies, you will need a male and a female. Is that not? Male catfish, female catfish. Now, for the female, you need one that already has egg inside the body. Right? And what you put inside the basin, you will see that the tummy is round. Right? But nothing can make the egg come out except the fish is inside the water during rainfall when the water is brown like a milo and then the water has overflowed the grass that's the only time that egg will ever come out and the reason is because when the eggs come out the catch is very wise it needs the water that is flowing fast to put air to make the children to the, the babies to be able to breathe and then the water that has gone over the grass after two three days will create some small small babies called daphnia some small microorganisms they call it daphnia i'm going to show you daphnia now bring bring daphnia for me drop the bag under the table sir. now this is what you call drop your bag so that because it's all going around now and then Then call Kalista too. Try and call Kalista. I need somebody too so that it will be faster. Nice practical time. Call one of them to be around, okay? Now, this is what they call. I'm going to show you. You can pass around. You see? These are small, small things. They're there in the gutter in front of your house. Are you getting me? Okay. You, you just take around for them to see, to see what it is. Now, we call this Daphne. Can you call that word? Now, this thing, I don't know. Let me ask a question. How many of you have mistakenly seen somebody early in the morning with something like a net and a nylon bag looking around the gutter somehow and the guy is not mental? You have seen, how many of you have seen somebody like that? Oh, good. Now, he's not mental though. He's saving himself 6,500 naira that morning because he's looking for Daphne that the baby of the fish will eat between day four and day ten for about five days because they're still very small they need something microscopic like that but you can see now like gary isn't it but they are moving because they are catfish they like to hunt so that's what you will hunt now you can either buy what they call brine shrimp can we call that word brine now that brine shrimp is a, see if you can get brine shrimp there now somebody in america discovered that shrimp in the river you know what he did instead of teaching people like i was like i'm teaching people he decided to dry it put it in a can like baby food okay good put in a can like baby food and start selling the can for six thousand five hundred naira each i didn't do that you can decide to do that too it's a business but i didn't feel i should do business when the country is still hungry so, you either you buy this 6,005, that's the SMA can, or you just get that Daphne. It's simple. Look at the trade off. Now, I explain everything to people in my small book. How you just take your scarf, your spare scarf, take anger from your closet, and just use to make a net. Tell the younger fellow to go out there in the morning, and then you just scoop. That's all. When you come back, just rinse it and apply it to the fish one is okay for the next three days and the fish just needs it for about four five days that's all after that they're already okay to now take normal food but you can imagine as simple as that thing is it's still have you shown them around the brain uh, the daphne i didn't see you go to that place uh oh go take let me see what it is like because many people don't know what it is like it's a small they call it zoo planting I saw in a Russian book and I felt anything outside there would be available in Nigeria. I discovered it in uh, 1997. And I wrote a small book on it. That's why you see people who don't even have cash doing catfish now. Because it saved them a lot of money. But that doesn't mean if you don't want to go out, you can still buy that brine shrimp, of course. Depending on where you stay. You know? So, okay, let's get back to this now. Now, I told you now that once the catfish, male and female, 
the male, no problem. I will tell you his own problem later on. But for the female, it will not produce if you just live in your container. When it will only produce, release the egg, when the rain is falling, water has flooded the river, and then it's on the grass. The grass is already producing this to guarantee the food. And the water is like mellow. It's dark. Because when it's dark, it means the baby's eyes will not be blind. When catfishes are born, you need to make your your pond or the container for the for the for the production to be dark. The darker, the better. Why? When they see light, their eyes can go blind. So you want to reduce it as much as possible. Not that it will be completely dark. This place is okay, but the darker, the better. But not under direct sunlight like we have outside. Is that okay? Now, what you want to do now is to now recreate that environment in the river inside your house. So how do you do that inside your house? Now listen. Number one, you need what you call a container called the wooden. Now how do you get a container? Depending on the amount of money with you, if your house is, you have space, you can dig a small hole in the ground. Everybody knows what a coffin is now. You know, a coffin that could take uh, somebody who is, who, is, who is dead, right? Now, you can imagine you cut a coffin into two. You know, a coffin is about the length of a human being. That's about two meters, right? And then, yeah, about 1.5 to 2 meters. And then, about one, one meter. And then, it's not really about one feet high. That's what you need. You call it wooden vat. Do we have videos playing? Oh, okay. Good. Okay, I'm saying. Try and play the fingerling setup. Okay, good. Oh, God bless you. Now, look at this now. This is somebody. Look at the house. Uncompleted building. This guy will complete his house as quickly as possible. Can you see? Just from one fish. The production. Now, this is what I call the wooden vat. You just use wood, you know, 12 by 1 wood. Are you getting me? You buy about 8. 1, 2, 3. You lie down. Carpenter puts it together for you. And then you just put tapulin or lino carpet. You see? It looks so crude. But then what you need is something that can contain water. That you can have your fish in. Can you see? He decided to do this to get money to complete his house. And from one fish, you can see how many babies. How many of you are aware? So, how can people be poor? If one fish, that's a gift from God, isn't it? One fish will give you 10,000 to 30,000 babies, depending on the size. If you use one kg, you get about 10,000. If you use three kg fish, you get almost 40. If I use four kg, you get 70,000. In fact, that's why your greed becomes a problem. Because when they overcrowd, they will die. So, you better not use too big a fish in the beginning. So that you don't kill. Is that okay? So that's an example of what I call a wooden vat. Later on, a few of you, I'll give my address so that you can spend time to come over. You know, you call today. I'm going to give his number on appointment. So you see a few things live before you even take steps at all. So that you are confident. Even though there will be resource materials for you outside at a very great discount. Normally online, I sell my total package for 40000 but here, you folks are going to get almost close to seven. What percentage discount should I give? 50%? 60? 70? 80% discount? No, 10 will, be, 10 will be still be too heavy. I made up my mind I'm going to give up to 80% discount. Are you getting me? I don't want to announce it because. People overseas are always giving me a problem. Oh. They will say, ah, but you give the idea and they well, we are brethren too. That's why I said it quietly. But later on, you go and find out outside. But it's a huge, huge discount to make it affordable for everybody here today. Is that okay? And those who don't have cash in their hand, by tomorrow, when they come, they can still purchase for the next one week. Is that okay? After that, we stop. It's a limited quantity because, you know, there's a limit you can give that kind of every discount. It's like a free gift. You know, it costs money to produce them all the same. Now, so back, so you see what to do to produce those fingerlings, right? Now, the next thing is, how do you get the fish that you want to use? Or what are the things you will need to produce, to produce the fish? 
So do the production. So let me let me show you one by one the materials needed. Where's that uh, fingerlings book? Okay. In fact, everybody who wants to hold this for me. Where's Kalista? Okay. Is it there? You only have one. Ah, one was the past. And tell who is it? Lawal is up there. Tell Kalista to be here. Or happiness with you. So she will go and bring one copy. Quickly. Be coordinated. One lady should be here. Compulsory. One lady should be here. Okay? Now, everybody will need this book. Definitely compulsorily. Is that okay? This is the book God used to change Nigeria entirely. You will see the dedication to the King of Kings and to this man, Lester Somra. He died in 1996 because he said God showed him a dream. He's an American evangelist. He said God showed him a dream that people are hungry. More population, less food being produced. And he said God told him to start something. Joseph, end time, feed the hungry program. So he wrote a book, Dark Faces of World Hunger. How about 580 children die every minute due to hunger? I was so touched by the book. And I said, ah, there's no time to hide information at all. Though. Let me see what I can do on my own. That's why I wrote it here. Whose mission was to inspire God's people to fulfill the vision the Lord gave him in Jerusalem. He went for the pilgrimage. Joseph End Time Feed the Hungry Program. And I said, this book is a response to it. Is it not a response? Because everybody who has access to this book and the video, there's a VCD and there's a DVD, has what they call power in his hands. If the power is not meant for you, meant for your sister, for your mother, for your uncle, for your neighbor, wherever it is, somebody will grab this and change your life. All the consultants you see all over on Facebook or there about, all of them took their route from here. That's why you don't see any other fish being talked about. Because this is the only one God gave grace for somebody to expose the information. It's complex. We're not taught in schools. But I won't take time to tell you the long story. If you go to my website or my YouTube page, youtube.com slash mrfishworld, youtube.com slash mrfishworld, you're going to see, in fact, everybody should note that because there you will see 125 videos that teaches you, you know, those who can't come here to Nigeria, now that's where they go and look for free. And you still see the same thing there. So my hands are clean, oh. If anybody says he's hungry or he doesn't know something, when I get to him, I know me, I'm free. <laughs> because I've opened up the most complex information in fish for people to access. Now, the book is so easy that you will see drawings. You will see drawings. I think I'm partial with women. I'm still coming to men. Oh. <laughs> now, if you look at, you will see drawings of how to do it. Let's say you cannot read and write. You will see drawings, isn't it? Even apart from the drawings, you can still see the, on the video, you will see the practical demonstration. Now, added to that now, I won't do them in your presence. So, after this now, do you have any excuse? No. The only excuse is that word F-E-A-R, fear. Oh, I'll go take Salam now. Oh, maybe one died in your hand because you are just starting. Nobody from crawling, just stand up now. Because of your greed, instead of doing a simple fish that is half a kilo, you took four kilos because Mr. Fish says 70,000, I go come. And you don't have enough space. You are, you're, you are the only one that can cause problem for yourself. Are you getting me? Because you don't want to start moderately. So you experiment first. Is that okay? So let's look at the materials we need. All the materials are drawn here. And I'm going to show us one by one. They're on this, uh, they're on this page. I think I'll, I'll do it somewhere here. Okay? They're on page, on page 9. You will need knife. You will need knife. Oh, make sure they show them. Okay, let me show. Everybody knows knife now. I, I want to be sure it's available because I'm going to use all of them now. Now we need a knife, of course. We need a thermometer. It's not compulsory to know the temperature. I'll tell you what this one does now. Okay. 
Open the thermometer for me. Just tear it off. Good. Then uh, you're going to need this later on. Though not compulsory, but you are in the city, you might need this in the call pH test kit. But it's not compulsory. You can come to me and help you do the test for free for your water to know whether your water is like ever water or not. Because all of us actually mess up. I'm going to test somebody's water now. A pure water and an ever water now for us to see the difference. Is that okay? You will need a bowl. Where's the bowl? Do we have a bowl? You didn't bring a bowl. Jesus is love. Okay, good. You will need a bowl like this. Okay. Now we're going to use this to test whether the water is acidic. You know, they always talk of acid rain, acid water and cold. So we use this to test. Then you are going to need, uh, okay, we didn't bring the weighing scale. You will need a tissue paper. Open this in. Okay. Then uh, open this for me. We're going to need this one too. Uh, not compulsory, but it'd be okay if you have it too. We call this an aeration line. Uh, excuse me. What this thing does, excuse me. What this thing does, this is an air pump. You know, like all those welders something that pumps air from the atmosphere. It pumps it inside the water to this pipe. And this one is one that blows, scatter the air inside. I'll tell you what it does now. For those of us who are greedy to produce plenty of babies, let me, let me show you an example of what it does. Okay. If I put it there now. If there was a, oh, there's a system we can connect to here. Any electrical something we can connect to. Okay, there's one there. Oh, fine. So can they try and see if we can connect it? There's an extension to connect. But let me use my mouth to replace that stuff. Now, this is called an aerating system. This thing is called air stone. It's a stone you know, like, a, uh, what do you call it? Granite that they painted blue. It's rolled to disperse the air. This is a tubing. And then connect to the pump. And then you go. Do you see how it works? Can we see at the back? Oh, okay. Somebody, oh, you haven't seen it there. Oh, fine. Okay, yeah. Ah, that's enough. I'm not a machine. <laughs> that's, what the, that's what the pump is supposed to do. Now, what, what's this thing doing? What it's doing is to actually increase the oxygen inside the water when you have plenty of babies. You don't have to put it on for 24 hours. Maybe just one hour in a day or two hours or when the just bring your light, fine. There's a battery model that you can use battery, you know, on the pump to, to make it work. Now, when you have plenty of babies inside, the oxygen becomes a problem. Now, let me explain oxygen to you. Now, you are breathing in 21% oxygen. We know that in my primary school now, is that not? But inside water in a swimming pool, the oxygen is 8% from 21. It has reduced to 8. But it gets worse. Once you fetch water from your well or from your tap or whatever it is, and you keep the bucket in the house for maybe a day or two, if you observe, if you touch the inside of the bucket, your hand will be slimy. Slimy, right? Now, if you by mistake go to put your hand under a microscope to magnify what's inside your hand, you run across the road as if you can't survive. You will see billions of bacteria in your hand. The bacteria has colonized the water to take the oxygen. Now, if you test the water after two days, the oxygen will not be eight anymore. You know what the oxygen will be? 0 0.0001. I repeat, 0 0.0001%. That's 
that's not good. So what you need to do is to look for a way because when you have plenty of fish, how do you get oxygen inside? The easiest way, two ways. Let's say you don't have this at all. What you do is that just look for water in a bucket where it gets more tap. Allow the water to drop on top of that container, on top of that container. Top, top, top. And as it drops, it's shaking the surface of the water. So 21% is mixing with the 0.001 to increase it to at least 7%. Is that okay? So it's not, comp are we clear with that? So you don't even, it's not compulsory. It's only when you want to, you are targeting fish of about 700,000 naira. No, 1.2 million. You know now, you know you people know how to calculate. That's when it's compulsory. So you call, when the water is dropping, you call it flow through. You know, just allow the water to drop, top, top, top. But if you're in an enclosed place, and no access to water, like you're in Nigeria Republic, I told you somebody in Mali, what are they scarce? Then you will need this to actually aerate again and again. Why? Apart from the oxygen, you know the fish will urinate. The babies will urinate now. And that urination will start giving you small smell. Smell like ammonia. How many of you use public toilets here? You know there's this smell in public toilets that you have to put camphor to ammonia. Now, when you allow this thing to operate like this, You did it once. Can you better come close and be you be doing this? <laughs> he, he has a stronger vocal capacity. Now, when you do this, you know the the urine that is the urine that is inside the water that makes the water to smell. Because ammonia is gas, it will go off from the water straight. So you are helping your fish to stay there longer without you needing to change the water because of that. That's number two advantage. Number three, you know you're going to be giving them food. And when they eat food, fishes don't eat food like we eat decently. They eat, they eat food like, uh, let me give you an example. You know, if they're going to serve you food now, everybody will have a takeaway plate, is that not? There'll be no food on the, on the floor. But in those days, man, I remember 73, 74, when they used to do party, we call it Sara. You know, they have a big tray. I don't know if they do it in the village now. You put, you call 12 boys, 12 girls, oh, use hands, right? Then you put about seven pieces of meat, and there are 12 boys. So you that is not strong, you know that. It is not your, it is not your, your portion that day. Then they say, okay, you can start, somebody prays, and they start eating. What happens if there's no elderly person? You begin to fight over the meat and some food flies across on the floor. That is the way fishes eat. So there will be waste inside the water. How do you remove the waste? The waste will make the water to start smelling, isn't it? But if you aerate, that waste is called, will decay to what they call hydrogen sulfide, like rotten egg. But if you aerate, because it's a gas too, it will go off the water. So your water can be brown and dirty. As long as your water is not foul, your water is okay. You can have clean water that is white, like this one. And yet, the water is bad. It can kill fish. So clean and clear water does not mean the water is okay. Dirty and brown water can even be better than this because it doesn't have ammonia, it doesn't have hydrogen sulfide, and there's oxygen there. By the way, catfish, they call them mud catfish. They are found in river now with mud. Don't be so. But the mud is okay. You can even drink the thing after we are all made from mud. Is that not? Are we clear with that? So many people try to make their water clean, clean, clean. I say, no. Once you can get carbon dioxide, in fact, oh, that's the third one, carbon, the fourth one, carbon dioxide. You know, they breathe out too. The carbon dioxide too will go off, so the fish will not be coming to the surface anyhow. So you can see how important that is. But like I said, if you don't have it, just, and how much is that thing? 4,005. 4,005. It can even be cheaper in some places. If you, if there are some other models that are even cheaper. Is that okay? So we call it aeration. So let's get back to, now you understand 
you have a container, you have the aerating system, or you have a way of making water come in. You have your male fish, and then you have your female fish. Now, how do you know that your male is the correct guy ready for marriage? You want to know? So let me show you. How do you know that this fish is okay? Where is the, where's the book? Milda. Okay. Check will be sure. She mailed me off you. Do you label it? I mailed me. And let me take it myself. Okay, I bring it out. Or let me take it myself. Okay. Nice boy. Now, come close. Okay, since they are seeing it there, so fantastic. Now, uh, okay. Oh, yeah. A male. Okay. Now, on page eight, I show the difference between a male and a female. Now, here physically, we're going to look at it. Just look at the camera or so. I think you will see it better there rather than looking at me directly. Now, this is a male. Now, the male under his belly has one hole. That hole is meant for poo poo. While the second one is a sack. Now, that sack is like a testis, but it's not the testis per se. The testis of the catfish is inside the body. Why are you looking at me like that? Your own is outside your body now, isn't it? <laughs> he said, oh, the camera boy is looking at me. I said, that of the fish is inside his body. His own is outside his body. Or oh, you want us to check? Okay. Now, here, for the fish is inside his body, while, now, how do you know whether this boy is ready with the right sperm cells? Now, if you look at there's a fin under, now this fin is called like a ventral fin, right? Now, this sac must touch that fin and almost cross it small. Just remember that if you go to market you want to get a fish, male you want to use, it must cross, the leg must cross small. That's the sac must cross that fin under. If the guy is big, you know, all those are your butter fish, right? And this sack does not touch the fin under, does not touch his fin under. Please run the wheel. That guy is immature. If you open it up, you won't see any sperm cells, mature sperm cells inside. That means your project is cancelled. Is that okay? Are we clear with that? Even when I finished masters, I didn't know this because it didn't show us. Now, people are graduating already from BSc to MSc now. <laughs> are we clear with this now? Once, it can be a small boy, but maybe because for inside Village River, for Ogun River, you don't need there, they shop at warm. They shop on Canel and Co. So it didn't grow big, just look like guinea fowl. But by the time you open, you see that the sack cross, that means a correct guy. And it can be big, double your size, sir. And then maybe it's just about five months old. And when you look, how do you know? Well, you just check the sack and it's not touching the feet. Run away. That means an immature guy. So it's not about size. It's about boys. It's okay if you are big and you're something cross. Is that okay? All right. Now for female, for female fish, so, okay, before I go to that, how do I now get the testes? Because inside the fish, there are two ways. If your fish is big, like maybe half the size of this guy, like about 5 kg fish. You don't want to lose that fish because about 15,000 naira maybe for one fish. So what you do is to cut the belly. No, you use Anastasia. Are you getting me? Like uh, all these senior to Valium. They call it MS222. The fish will sleep. You cut the tummy and then you now use that injection syringe to bring out some sperm cells to want to use. Right? 
but because we were doing what they call a backyard localized project is that okay that is affordable we are going to do the common one we're going to sacrifice this guy you know in the bible when the angel the angel said when abraham was going to sacrifice isaac you remember it was so lucky that the angel just stopped i guess me and didn't sacrifice but this time the isaac here has to die is that okay for the sake of 10,000, 20,000, or 70,000 babies. I think it's fair, right? By the way, there's an additional benefit. When we cut off the head now, right, and take off the testes, somebody is going to have a tasty meal in the evening. Catfish, pepper soup. I hope you know. We don't throw that catfish away. Oh, that's no way. It's going to end up in a Dickens pot or goes back for me to take pepper soup against tomorrow whichever of the two is that okay so that's for the male now for the female what you have I can't use the female now as an example but for the female because she's already ready to release eggs I don't want the eggs to scatter on the on the on the stage now you have two holes one hole for poo poo and one hole for egg and you're going to see it when we press it out now. Eggs from the tummy. Now, let's now get to, to our bit here. Now, you now know male now. We're going to touch the females later. Now, on this page, page 34, we have this chart. You can show them on the... Okay, you said... Now, you see, I said something here. To make it easy for anybody, even if you don't have this book, just photocopy this page that shows you in boxes what steps you need to take until you sell until the babies are out you see number one here I say test your water to be sure that your water is okay for fish growth you know most of us drink water anyhow and when we drink that water okay tomorrow that's when I will do that test for you you see how many people will fail that test even though you are 45 years old, your chronological age, but your biological age can be 75. Man. I'm 52. When I go to the airport and they test my body with these machines, they said I'm 19, I'm 20. I'm going to talk to you about that. What makes me even though I'm 52, but biologically I'm 19? I'll prove you so many people tomorrow now. And then let's start with our knuckles. It's from water. But let's leave that till tomorrow. But let the fish benefit today. Because if your water is not between 6.5, there's something they call pH. Can you call that word? Again, pH. pH shows the amount of acid or amount of alum inside the water. You all know alum now. Those are the, those are the opposite ends. Let me hold this. Okay, and this one. So one is either acid or alkaline. Now, this liquid is what you use in testing whether the water is okay or not. So I'm going to ask for two people with water now to come on stage and let's test the thing when they drink self. Can two people come? One man at one corner down there with pure water or sachet or with any water, sha? Somebody has ever water, right? Can, we, can you come up, please, and let's test the ever water? And somebody has one pure... Eh, one bag. Oh, good. Okay, come over here, man. Then you come with your own nice one, too. Where's the way she drinks, Seth? Okay, where's the... Bring the cartoon. Bring the cartoon. Now, what is going to happen now is this. And this is good for you. You know, all of us are animals now. Is there any plant here? You are made a plant. No, we're all, but we are higher animals. So, this benefit too. I'm going to talk about the effect on your own personal health tomorrow. But let's just talk about the benefit on fish first. Now, there is this chart here that shows if it is at this four, the water is real bad. In fact, the water in my house is almost between this five and four. But we allow the water to come down to this one seven. Ever water is always seven. That's why you see when you both people, they buy them. Because they are conscious of their health. Because they know it's regulated. Because they monitor them. It's Coca-Cola now, isn't it? 
but a fish will like between 6.5 and 8. 6.5 and 8. But 7 is best. So let's check out two waters here and see what happens. So we test your own first. Okay? Can you open it a little bit? Okay? Or too much. When they, when they sweep, the video they used to wet. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. 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 So what we we'll do? Or you woman will say put about seven drops, so that it will finish quick, quick. But me, my mother is from Ijebu, so I rather than put seven. Okay. If you don't show me the color after the second one, I'll agree now. So that thing will finish quick, quick. It was about 6,000 naira. But when we buy it, if you come to me, if you are not from the church here, if you come to me for test, water test, we charge 5,000. But I said I will do it for free. You can do it too. Now buy this and do test for people now. If you take it to water works, they will charge you 25,000. I can cook up some other things. So there's no big deal about this. Is that okay? And you need this in your house, really. Because if your urine is between 6.5 to 8, there's no way in this world you will have typhoid fever or malaria. Because the parasites, they exist in acid medium. When your urine is above 6, that is lower than 6, we'll talk about that one tomorrow. So let's look at this now. Wow. Unbelievable. Who made the pure water? This is oh this is, oh bring me one that the nylon is not labeled properly. This is this is this this quality, huh? Yeah, it's okay. This water is fantastic. Can we have any other water from somewhere now? You know the kind of pure water they talk about now. Where the nylon thing, no, they clear. Bring come somebody show me one there. Come come come. Listen, with funny funny label. Ah, oh. <laughs> so the sample. Okay, bring us this one. <laughs> Now look at this, this particular one. Very fantastic. Bring that, uh, the palette. Now, now if you look at, okay, you, 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 you video this. Now this is about, it, it looks nice, but it's a little bit on the, on the other side though. It's supposed to be seven, but it's still in the range. The water is very hard. They added excess zeolite into it, but it's still okay for your bone. For those people whose bone, they crack. This water is good. Now, when you go and press your hand, you say, pam, 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 you know, all those sounds. This is okay. It's senior to this. So I'll show you now. Let's, let's look at this one before we look at the other funny pure water. Okay? Can we have the... Just be close to me so that... Okay? Let's now... They get it. <laughs> exactly so. <same. laughs> you know, they can't afford not to because, you know, just like Ragulis water too. I heard that Ragulis water is the exclusive water exported to Saudi Arabia now. That's why you know, they say I'm drinking again because of its perfect state. I'm sure they're exporting this to so many West African countries. So let's look at it again. If you look at, you see, unlike that water, what's the name of the water? Southern Spark, right? We know they advertise it. But you know that one was eight. Now this one is, if you look at seven, right? The difference is that Southern Spark is 100 times more alkaline than this because between six and seven is 100 times more. It's a logarithm. thing. Seven and eight is 100 times more. So you can know they have to slow down on the amount of uh, uh, zeolite they use there. The company has to slow down. Except for people who need a bone something now. It's too strong. But look at this one. Did I not tell you? Seven straight. I did because your brain can work at 7.2. This one is already eight. My brain won't have to work to convert it to 7.2. But this one, my brain doesn't have to do any work. No wonder they listen well, well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now let's look at that other word now. Just to... I don't pray it's bad, though. 
But let's see what happens. Open it. Now you need a drink, sir. No. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I don't know. Let's... Okay. Okay. Let's let's oh no, a little bit more. Okay. So let's see what we get here. Now, if you go home and bring your water to me, or maybe somebody, I think the church should just buy one PE test kit and everybody here. Rather than come to my place, but you are coming, bring your water, I'll let you test it for free. Now let's look at this and see what happens. Ah, this guy is good too. I've been mean, having done the oh no, 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 no. Let's see first. Try small. Okay, close this. I will explain to them now. Don't take this. Yeah, it's like Nabdak is to be on their neck here. Yeah. But if you look at, it's almost good too. Oh, I need bad water. Look up. <laughs> Any water from the tap here? Yeah? Any water from the tap? Please quickly go and bring water from the tap. I need them to see because that's what they will see when they get home. So, I want you to see what you will see at home. Because most of the water in our houses, they are bad. And you're not going to use pure water, or whatever water to do your fish farm now. Is that not? So let them bring the tap water here now. You see what, what I'm talking about quickly. Oh, you brought it. Oh, fine. All right. I'll be holy days, but don't enter this water too. Let's see. Let's see what happens. From your plant. Oh, I said, give me raw water. They don't have plants in their house now. Uh oh. He said, from their plant. So it's already treated. I want water that is like from your house that's not treated. From the well or bowl. Let's see. We're checking the water that we drink. Okay, let's, let's try one. Oh. You know what we get? I'm waiting for rain because. Most of the water when you get back home will give you rain. Can somebody bring it quickly? Because that's what they're going to see at home. That's what I want to emphasize so that you don't get afraid. When you see your own, your screen. Because what you get is going to be like this color. So I will tell you what you need to do. But we're not getting it. Every water is treated and looking nice. But the one in the house is not like that. I know 80% of the people don't have water that's okay. So let's see it direct now. Beginning. Okay, let me try this water first. Again. This one is good too. Now everybody's... But let me bring the one as well. Okay, I keep talking Why they bring the real thing. So that when you are home, because water from your well, the deeper the well, the worse it becomes. Why? Because of carbon dioxide, number one. And if it's bowl, you know, bowl is deep. Carbon dioxide will make it red first. So even when you bring the water up from the bowl, let it stay in the very tank for at least one day before you use it in the farm. So that carbon dioxide will not come out before you now use it. Because if you use it acidic like that, your fish, it will begin to leach the bone of your fish and they will die after the first week. And that's sad news. That's what I want to, that's why I'm emphasizing this area a lot so that you don't come and miss a fish, my fish die. But it's your fault because the foundation is faulty already because you did not treat your water. So what do you do? Let's assume your water is this bad. They will soon bring us a bad water now. Let me show you what you will do. You are going to bring, bring zeolites. You are going to use what they call zeolites to, to temper your water back to normal. Can we call that word zeolites? Now, this is an example of a, of a zeolite. You know, like this thing they use in making terrazzo. Are you getting me? calcium carbonate. Are you getting me? What you do is that you have it. We have plenty in our office because people all over the country used to ask us. Now, what you do is to have a bucket. Uh, bring that basin. I want to show you how you are going to arrange it in your water. Now, two things to do. If it's just that stuff you have, what you do is just put this about four on the edge of your pool, you know it will bring out uh, 
alkaline okay i'll see take this later you will bring out alkaline materials let me cut it off so that you see what it is you know what we did was to just it's in the net because it will start dropping down now small small that's why we put in nylon now when you put this inside the water when it's acidic it will bring it down to neutral now you can use this and you can use shell too go and bring the shell just go to Babbage, right? And if you are listening to go to Babbage, you can come to me. We sell, I think, about 200 naira, 250 for one. Now, this is, this is seashell. Now, if you look at, you know normal seashell now, isn't it? Now, shell will always exchange itself with the water so that it will now become normal. If this thing is one kg now, after about five months if you weigh this thing if it be just 300 grams or if it's 2 kg right after five months you will see that as if somebody removed something there it has exchanged itself for the acid in the water so instead of fish losing their bone it is this shell calcium that is lost is that okay so you can either use this shell just allow water to pass through it before going to your farm or just put it inside the container but if you have so many containers it makes sense for you so use a uh -huh, let me use can i use the offering bucket now good now what you do is that you get something like a a bucket or a drum depending on the size of your farm now when water comes from your overhead tank you know it's going to come right into this let me hold this it's going to come this one is placed as a layer i need the psychology of I believe you're always blocking me, but it's like you're the one making them to see me. Okay, good. So, okay, you're watching the screen, okay? Now, you just have this laid about four layers inside your bucket. Now, once you lay it like that, water comes from the top and it passes through this shell before coming out by a tap. Ma, if your water is acid, once it passes through the shell and come out, it's like ever water. That's what you need it in your house too yeah it's good to clap because this is a great revelation many houses have that problem if i tell you to do something now you see i'm bending my hand is that not did you hear any sound no but if you bring your own i try and try and press your knuckle oh i'm even hearing from here can you hear that why because you already your bone is being substituted for calcium, for shell. Anytime you eat rice, you eat bread and coal, your system becomes acidic. But your brain cannot function in acid. So, so that you can think properly, your system goes into a wire to quickly dilute the acidity into alkaline. Where does it get the calcium? Since you know the chopped shell, where does it get it? It will go from your bone now. It won't go to this one here. Yeah? It will start from this one first now. Small time will start facing this one too small time you start facing this small time you start facing your neck by the time you start with the back that's when you start walking respectably like grandma you know that's wrong so please we will talk about that one tomorrow so are we clear with this water thing so let's do that let's see this water if it's going to give us what we're talking about if this one doesn't show us red that means prayer they change pH two. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Prayer did not change this one. This is what we're talking about that you see in your house. Where did you get this one from? Raw water now. Oh, you can see that the plant is working. You can see the pH. This is not okay for fish now. If you use this water directly, your fish will die between week one and two, or between week two and three. Can you see the pH is about six, between six and five? It's acidic. If you bring water from your house for us to test, we'll let you know. But you don't need to be afraid anymore. I've told you the solution. Is that not right? And this is just 200 naira, 300 naira. You can buy four, five, six, ten, depending on how big your project is going to be. Is that okay? Are we clear with that now? All right. So clap for Jesus for that. Okay. Now that we, now we've gotten the water.
Where's the book? No, okay. Now, you know, we're working on this script. Now, I said testing the water. Then number two, adjusting the water to pH 7. You now know what to do to adjust your water to pH 7. Then I said develop parent stock, Bruce stock. Parent stock are called Bruce stock. Now, I told you, you go and buy your Bruce stock from somebody who is either producing fish or go to the market. If you get to the market, you are looking for fish that are about one year old. Eight months to one year. But it doesn't matter. Just look for the, for the male. What do you look for in the male? You remember? There must be a poser, right? Under. Is that not? And for the female, when you buy the female, hold her and press the tummy. The egg must come out small. It looks like the head of a pin. You know this pin they use in packing sheds? You know the head of those pin? Aha. That's where the eggs are. Then after that, you want to identification of parent stock. We can identify them now, isn't it? Male and female. We now know that. The next one, maintenance and feeding. When you bring the parent fish home, they are going to be angry with you. They might not eat for the next one week. Oh. So don't be bothered at all. Don't say by force you must eat and pollute water and kill them. You want to use them to produce now. So don't be bothered. Even if it doesn't eat for a week or two, it doesn't matter. Is that okay? But one thing you must note, if you plan big for your project, right, you want to buy maybe like five fishes. Now be careful. When you buy two fishes, they must be in two different nylon bags. If you buy three fishes, they must be in three different nylon bags. If you buy four, they must be in four different nylon bags. If you buy five, they must be in five different nylon bags. If you buy six, you can put them in one nylon bag. If you buy seven, they can be in one nylon bag. Up till 20 you. So, why one, uh, two, one, uh, one, one bag, uh, four, four bags? If you take four fish or five fish from the market, before you get home, what you see inside the water is blood. They will start fighting. You know, man and woman now. Inside the nylon bag, the man will start toasting the girl. And if she says no, inside that small place, it becomes violent. So as if they go home, things that you won't produce, they know the romance inside the nylon. And that can be a bad thing for you because at that time, the female is already, the body is already torn into shreds. At that time, it's going to affect you. So remember the rule. Two fish, how many nylon bags? Three fish. Four fish. Five. Six. <laughs> Somebody say six. <laughs> oh, okay, six. We all know one bag now. This thing took us three years to come to terms with it. But why is this always happening? That just said gently now. But you are free from the challenge now. Because now no work will happen. Okay? So, now, how do you now prepare the match? Now, you want to produce. You have made your pond. Note, 5,000 fishes would take a coffin-like space. You can raise. Are you getting me? So, if you plant 10,000, now two you go do. If you plant 20,000, four. If you plant 40,000, eight. Note, in about six weeks, no, by the fourth week, you can sell each of those fish for six naira. That's in about four weeks. In about six weeks, you can sell these fishes for 12 to 15 naira, depending on who you sell to. If they are eight weeks, they are now going 20 naira to 25 naira each. So, but the bigger they become, the more space you will need because of overcrowding. Is okay? So if I were you, my wife just produced with one four kg fish now. Everywhere filled with fish. And I say, stop this ijabu behavior. From the moment they are three weeks now, sell these things, even if not five naira. How much did it cost you for fish? You got about 70,000. 70,000 times five, can somebody tell me? That's 350,000. How about you take buy the fish? Say, how much? 
But women, shall no, let it be bigger. I won't sell her 15 naira. I won't sell her. Well, now you say, well, it's not strange to me if you behave like that because that's where my wife behaves too. And eventually, there will not be enough space. So please, the man who gets the market is the one who is able to. Let me let me say it this way. There's a man called Richard Branson. You know, he's the one who has his Virgin Atlantic. He has over 400 companies. Now, this man is an Olodo. He never passed any exams in school. That story for another day. I will tell you about him tomorrow. Now, Branson's skill, I read his secret in a magazine. He said, lies in his spotting a fat market into which he will now underprice himself combined with a deal that makes him to make profits double that of his competitors at prices that are half that of his competitors. That's why he's big. You too, what would you like to buy from somebody whose price is cheaper? What would you? I don't tell you now. Because the way you're looking at me, I know once the thing comes now, you, you just carry paper, pam, pam, times 20 naira. Start with times five or six. It's, these are major issues. When you see me emphasize something, I know now. It, the fish is there for you. Or the fourth week, they are all still there alive. You don't want to sell. Then suddenly by the fifth week, because you don't have space, half of them die. Mr. Fish, <laughs> what can I do now? My fish are dying. You don't have space. You don't want to sell cheaper, and you are not building bigger space. Madam, whose fault? I hope I've said that enough. Okay? So, so you're going to build. So, let's now go ahead and now see the next thing now is I say incubation and ashing. That's what we want to do now. We want to incubate the baby and then to hash him. So, what do you do now with the female in your hand? With the female in your hand, what they're going to do now is you now want to trick, you want to trick the fish to think it's raining outside so that it will now bring out the eggs. So, how do you trick the baby? Uh, trick the fish? Or you both find out that before a fish release the egg, the pituitary gland pituitary. Can we call that word? Pituitary. Now, it's one small thing that turned you from a girl into a madam. You know, the moment you start looking at a mirror again and again, start putting pancake, that means your pituitary is now double. You know, girls don't care now, isn't it? But the moment I have a daughter too, then my wife says she's walking anyhow and go. She doesn't just care and go. But now that I just finished school, they say they are doing prom. The amount of pancake in their school, Queen's College. I said, suddenly, it just changed in my face. So, is the pituitary. The pituitary is not mature. That's why she doesn't care and walks like a man. Anyhow. But now, oh my God, before he goes, okay, this one is, ah, I was just watching a drama. Because the pituitary gland is now double. She's now changed from a girl to a lady. Right? Even sometimes they'll correct you. Her mommy stops calling me girl. Now, it happens to everybody. Now, it happens in the fish when the water is flooded, there is food in the environment, the water is like bon vita in the river. Now, what do we now do now? We have to take a pituitary gland from another fish to inject that female so that she will not think, oh, what I don't fool everywhere, I can produce babies. Now, in my CD, I have it, CD, I think some is just left. I'll tell you about 50 copies or so left. I don't do it again. Oh. In the old days, that's about eight years ago, we used to use pituitary because, bring over print for me. Before one white man did something, you will kill the fish, remove the pituitary from the very small thing like that. Oh. Remove it from the brain. You now put it inside salt solution and put inside injection. Are you getting it? But now, bring the cartoon too. Now, one man in Canada... He died about four years ago. He now tried to look at what's inside the pituitary that's making fish, not human being, though. I did, did one for fish. You know, that's making fish to actually believe that. So he tried to look at the chemical formula inside the pituitary of the animal. I don't know, maybe our own too. They involved, though. He now did the artificial, artificial version. Are you getting me? That's what you have that you call overprint. Now, there are so many of it now because when the man died, he has two sons. The two sons quarrel. 
one join a company in South Africa, one still remain in Canada. So they start doing another one, overlaying, overtied. You see, but everything is of, 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 you know, are you getting me? Right? Now, so instead of me having to kill a donor now, an Isaac, you know, that means I will have had to deliver to Isaac. I have to kill to Isaac. The male is waiting, oh, you remember? Then the donor of the pituitary, but now is reduced to one. But it doesn't matter, you can do it too. It's in that uh, CD. Now, what do we do? Bring the injection. Now, listen to this. The sentence I want to tell you now cost me training a boy for six months for free or now to do fish and export. The man who told me the amount you use, I won't mention his name, the punishment I face, all this one that's looking smooth now. He said, yeah, you want to know the formula. He said, he learned it in Israel that, okay, I will employ his staff and help me train him in aquarium fish for six months before he told me what he told me what I'm telling you now. That's how do you know the amount, the amount you are going to use of this artificial one to make the fish egg to become ripe in less than 12 hours. So how much do we use? Write it down. Most important. You are going to use an injection syringe that is two mil. How many mil did I say? Two mil type. You are not using two mil, but this type, you know, the one that is common for human beings is five. Five mil. So look outside the chemist and buy the one that they wrote two mil on. Is that okay? Because it will be easier to measure with two mil. Now what do you do? You take it in. Well, let me see. Okay, we have some here. Let me let me hold this. Okay. Now you will now put your overprint. Well, what most of us you just drag right in there like that. Okay. So I'm gonna put this by the mouth. Let me hold it. Some people don't even open. Now, what I will do, I'm trying to measure now the secret now, the top secret. How many do you use for what size of fish? The secret is 0 0.5 mil, not one. 0 0.5 mil for one kg. Once you weigh the fish, and the fish is one kg, that means you are going to use 0 0.5 now, if your fish is 2 kg, how many meals are you going to use? Let me test. Oh, one meal. God bless you. Okay, good. One meal. Okay, oh. you answer me quickly. If your fish is 4 kg, how many meals do you use? Uh, she answered, I plan to give her a book, coach. She slowed down. <laughs> you got it. Okay? Okay, what I will do? I will give you a copy of Fingerling's book. I will give her a copy of the CD because it's just slow, slow, slow. So remind me to share it. <laughs> Is that okay? So what you do, so she, I think they've gotten it now. Man, I'm coming over to your place now. So what you do, when you press it out, you know when you press injection in, gas will always be there. So what you do is, you press in again to remove the gas to 0 0.5. Bam! Now, I'm now on 0 0.5. No here because there is air. You know, sometimes if air enter your bomb bomb, it's another thing entirely. Okay? So, you're okay now. Now, what you now do, which is what I did, before you inject your fish, what you do, you check a particular table here. All this. You check this table. You can put on the latency table. Okay? Or maybe, I think, uh, you, can, you can use it. Come over. You can see it here. Okay, this table here. Hold on. on this page, yeah. This page. Now, if you look at that table on the TV, you see they wrote water temperature. They look at latency time. In fact, you should have put pregnancy time on your own paper. Then incubation time is delivery time. Now, if the water temperature you know, you have a thermometer. Thermometer is 3,000 naira or so. But you can take the chance. But it's always good to have a thermometer. But if you don't have it, 
in those days we don't have thermometer now. Can they bring a thermometer for us to see? Now, last night when I saw the temperature, I saw the water temperature was 25 degrees. Ah, 25 degrees. That means before the pregnancy, they okay, and the fish will come out. It will take how many hours in front? Latency time, 11. Abi? So that means if I do this thing for 11 o'clock, I go to sleep. That means the fish will be ready when? If I do 11 o'clock, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That means 11 in the morning. And what's the time now? The time is almost 2 o'clock. That means the egg will ripe and start wasting away. The fish will not hash well. So for you to be able to see it practically, I have to use time to watch TV small. After that, there's nothing to watch again. I have to start reading Bible small. After that, there's nothing to, 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 to read again. I was just waiting till 2.30 a.m. And I know I have to be with you people. If nobody wakes me up, my wife is gone elsewhere. My son is a Yabatek. So nobody to wake